Hey guys, Chicago injury lawyer Scott DeSalvo here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about a conversation I had with somebody I just spoke with a couple of days ago. They had a car accident, so the topic is, if I was involved in a car crash or I had a car accident, who pays the doctor? Um, so that's a good question. That's the question this guy who I spoke with a couple of days ago uh, wanted to know, and then he just told me yesterday he wanted to hire me. So. I sent him the paperwork to sign and we'll see if he signs up. But um, I think it's a common question because look, there's a lot of people out there who don't have health insurance or they have health insurance and they're like, if he caused the car crash, why should my health insurance have to pay, right? So it's actually a pretty compli complicated topic. And sometimes people have a workers comp case in their background. So they think in the way it works in workers comp is, the company is supposed to pay the doctor as the doctor gives you the treatment under workers' comp, whereas in a car crash case, that doesn't happen. All the payments are at the end of the case when a settlement is reached, so the doctors don't get paid as they treat, right? Now, because that's the case, you need to find a doctor that meets two criteria, actually three criteria. The first criteria is they have to be a legit doctor with a good reputation. So with all apologies, if it's some neighborhood medical provider who everyone walks in their door, gets nine months of back rubs and neck rubs, and they do the same thing to everybody, and they're known as the, you know, car accident place to go for back rubs and neck rubs, that might not be the best doctor, right? Just like you don't want to have a lawyer who has a bad reputation for not, you know, for being lazy or not you know, pushing the cases forward aggressively or settling for anything they throw at him. You don't want a doctor who has a reputation of treating people and treating everyone, giving them the same treatment, cookie cutter, whether they need it or not, right? So you need a doctor with a good reputation and who isn't afraid to refer you out to specialists if you need a specialist, right? So that's one criteria. The second criteria is, are they gonna be on your side? Or are you treating with a doctor who's sort of a capitalist? Is he just wants the money, doesn't really care about you? If he has to go to court or give a deposition, he doesn't want to do it. Tough luck on your case. Uh, or once he decides you're good enough, he wants to discharge you, even though you're still having problems, right? You need a doctor who trusts in you, believes in you, and is going to help you. Um, and if you have a doctor who has a bad attitude, that bad attitude comes through and they're more than willing to say the wrong thing at a deposition. And I will tell you from experience, if you have a doctor who doesn't wanna be there, who is mad, uh, they don't do a good job at their deposition. And they're m more than willing to go down the primrose path, led, you know, led by the hand by the defense attorney to say things that'll hurt your case. So you don't want that, right? The third criteria is, do you have a doctor who's flexible on payment, right? So if it's workers' comp, they get paid while the case is pending, but in a car crash, they don't. So there's something called a lien, and a lien is there's a law for doctors and medical providers. It's the Healthcare Services Lien Act in Illinois, but other states have a lien, a lien law too, or most of them do. And basically the way it works is if they treat someone, if they give someone medical care, then they have the right to get paid something out of the settlement at the end of the case. Now, the details don't matter. I'm usually able to work out great deals with doctors based on the Lean Act, so it's nothing for you to worry about. But my point is, ask for, to ask for a doctor who uh, is willing to treat on a lien. Now, if you have health insurance, it's the doctor's choice. The doctor can choose to just bill your health insurance and then we may have to pay your health insurance some of your settlement back since they paid medical bills related to somebody else's negligence. And that's actually in your health insurance paperwork. Um, it's part of the health insurance contract you sign with your health insurance company that they get paid back under that circumstance. So, it, you know, I cut great deals with companies uh, under those circumstances too. So it's really, not anything you usually have to worry about too much. So even though you don't get uh, 
getting doctor bills paid automatically and as the bills are rendered, it's usually not that big a deal because of the lien act. And if you choose, pardon me, if you choose, you know, the right doctor to treat you, a doctor who's like reasonable and compassionate and awesome at what they do, they'll just bill your health insurance or they'll bill under the lien act and it won't be, you know, it won't be an issue. So I hope that information helps you. I hope you and your family are healthy and well. If you want to know whether you have a good case, but you're not ready to call a lawyer yet, or if you want to know your value, your case value, I'll leave some links in the description to my website. I have a couple of tools there. They're little calculators that only take 10 or 20 seconds to fill out. And then you get an answer about your case value or about whether you have a good case. So 100% free to use, and it's uh, right there for you on my website. So I'll leave a link below. And if you need help or you have a case or you need a lawyer, definitely please give me a call. It's how I make a living and I love to help injured people. Even though if, if I had my choice, nobody would get injured, but it's what I do for a living. So if you know anyone who needs a good injury lawyer, who's honest, who explains things, I'd really appreciate the referral. Or if you need help, give me a call, 312-500-4500. Um, it's a 24 hour, uh, you know, you can call 24 hours any day of the year, any time of day or night. So give me a holler. Otherwise, if you enjoy my videos or you enjoy my advice, please consider giving me a five-star review on Google. It would really help me out. Uh, you can do that. I'll leave a link uh, in the description below, but you basically just go there. It takes you right to the page. You click five stars. You say a kind word. You hit submit literally takes you five or 10 seconds, but it really helps me out. So hope this information helped you. And um, it's a really pretty day today. It's 82, blue skies, little bit of clouds. I'm going in a little bit late today. Um, where I live, I usually have to drive in, or I prefer to drive in because it gives me options to like go to the office and return from the office and stuff like that. Um, but uh, if I leave too late in the morning, you know, if I leave at 7 a.m. or even 6.30, I get stuck in about an hour's worth of traffic. If I leave at 6 a.m., straight shot. If I leave after 9 a.m. to go to work, straight shot. So I try to schedule my commute around the uh, crazy traffic, although we got a lot of traffic right now. <laughs> so maybe there's a crash up ahead. Anyway, sorry as I blather on. Thanks again, folks, and uh, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.